Hi friends, it's Monica and let's watch the season 1 finale of Shadow and Bone. Okay, we finally made it to the last episode of this season and I'm really excited to get into it. So if you have not yet watched my other reactions to this season, they'll be linked in the description box below and let's just get right to it. I should just tear this down now. And what can you really do on your own? I think what the Darklings trying to imply here is like you can't do anything without me because at first when Alina was trying out her power she had to have the Darklings help to even access her power and now that the Darkling has control over her it's kind of the same thing from the start of their relationship and when they first met each other so that's interesting <laughs> Want us dead, surrounded by monsters who want us in their gut it's hard for you to call Milo Who's Milo? The goat! Jesper's so offended that uh, Anaj didn't remember who Milo was. <laughs> it's like, it's the goat! You don't remember the goat? I don't like it either, but... Can't have you out in the streets in Ravka now, can I? Nina and Matthias are now trying to figure out what to do next with each other, but they're both fugitives right now. I'd be branded a traitor to all Grisha. I know. It's your whole life, I can't take that away from you. I think with this tender moment, it shows that they have grown a little bit closer, but there's still a lot of uncertainty with them. Do something! No! <laughs> Remember who's driving. So this is where the Darklings still taking control of Alina and showing her display of magic. We need to threaten her life. What? what? Who's this? And I love how Inej is the one to find Mal below deck as where the rest of them are. And now we get Mal and the pros working together. You have me, you have this. Destroy the fault. You said we could. And why would we destroy the fault? Here, Alina tries to appeal to the Darkling again to try to destroy the fold, but the Darkling has other plans that does play into who is political schemes right now. We welcome the Black General and his escort when they're docked. When they're close, kill everyone on the skiff. And here we see the West Rafkins planning to kill the Darkling and everyone who's on the skiff. So it seems like everyone has their own political plans and schemes to have power and everything. And even if that comes at the risk of never destroying the fold. You've seen what the Sun Seminar can do. Now bear witness to what I can do. Is this more or less just a show of the Darkling having control over the situation? Even if everyone's appalled at his decision to destroy the West Rafkin city, he just instantly kills hundreds of people. And the crows decide to try to attack the Darkling at this time, but that obviously does not work. Get us out of here, now! And here we see Zoya deciding to be finally defiant against the Darkling, and we have Inej kind of encouraging her, like, get us out of here now. But it did take Zoya some realization of like, okay, the Darkling is not really a good guy. It's not worth it to stay by his side and be loyal to him. So these are all the royal dignitaries from other countries that the Darkling wanted to have like a demonstration for. But then the Darkling is just kind of a little bit comedic timing here. So like, oh, I have to make that long ass speech I just did again. <laughs> And this is where Zoya finally makes that decision of, okay, I'm against the Darkling, let's just try to get out of the situation alive. Zoya, she also finds out that the Darkling destroyed the entire city, which she had family in, so she did have a personal connection there, but it's nice to see her finally take some action of her own. It will take more than this! So with the crows attacking the Darkling and then Inej throws that knife into the Darkling's heart, obviously that's not enough to kill the Darkling because he is more than just human at this point because of his dark magic. And of that, 
curse or magical spell he did way back when and that grants him some sort of immortality. And Alina has this vision of a stag and the stag is somehow communicating with her. It's just you and me now, Alina. This is like the last olive branch that the Darkling is giving to Alina. And Alina, of course, defies him in that regard. And she realizes that the stag chose her and it was never the Grisha's choice. First words to me, well, what are you? This is what I am. And I love that continuation of that theme of like people asking what are you who are you to alina and she's showing who she is now and then we have a darkling and mal fight which is something really nice to watch i really like the fight between the heart render ivan and jesper and it's just like you have to remember like even though you have magical powers you're not all powerful i don't have to kill you darkling your past will do it for me. And it is ironic that <laughs> the Darkling is like, I have lived for so long and you think you could just simply shoot me to death? Like, that's not gonna work. And the thing that the Darkling creator, the Volcra, ends up attacking him in turn. <laughs> Don't you dare say meet me in the middle. So they're now in a bit of a predicament, even more so because Alina is passed out and Volcra are all around the skiff but then they do make it safely out of the fold. I've never met a saint before. I've never been a saint before. And I love like this little campfire conversations that they have after this huge battle that they went through and Inej is like speaking to who she believes is a saint but then they engage in like a short conversation that's like really heartfelt. But then Inej also realizes that Alina is also just a girl who happened to be part of this huge thing <laughs> that has come about in all of their lives. So is this. And I feel like Alina is really understanding of where Kaz is coming from because she has heard of him making side comments of like, do you believe in religion too now? Alina now understands how to speak in Kaz's language by giving him a really piece of expensive jewelry. It's like a weird bonding moment for them, <laughs> for Alina and Kaz, which is something we have not seen in the books, but I really appreciate these scenes in the TV show. We'll come back. I promise. And I do like how Mal is reminding Alina that you have done enough of all you can for now, but they will return later on. The apparat would try to keep his power, blame this on all of us. The people will turn on Grisha again. You need to find new allies. And it is a part of Alina to understand that the Darkling has made that turn of choice to be against his own people, against Grisha as well. And I do like how Zoya and Alina kind of made up in this little scene here. Although Zoya may not like Alina anymore, but she still gives Alina and Mal in turn as well good advice in how to go forward from here. I need you. I want to see the look on Helene's face when you clear the books. So Inej now is making the choice of either going back to Ketterdam and then from there, she's going to figure out where else she's going to head off to. And Cass then tries to appeal to Inej, but Inej also has to make her own decisions for herself. Uh, so with Nina and Matthias, where we end off with them in this season is that in order to avoid Matthias and Nina being captured by each other's like respective countries, Nina had Matthias being accused of a slaver and she gets him placed in jail on a ship as well. And when they re-encounter with each other, Matthias and Nina, they have a weird role reversal of like where Nina was a prisoner on the Fjordan ship, but now they've gone through this whole experience of learning of each other and surviving in the wilds with each other. Now Matthias is also in Nina's old position of not believing or whatever Nina, trying to convince Matthias of what's happening. 
but he doesn't believe her. And I do really enjoy how Nina and then the Crows crew are on the same ship as well as having the crows kind of speak a little bit too loudly and then saying we need a heart render and then Nina's like you you need you need someone it is kind of like a foreshadowing and hint to the future season and with Mel and Alina they have a lot of people coming after them now and now they essentially have to become ghosts for a little bit before they're ready to destroy the fold I really like how now moving forward, we have Mal and Alina together and although Mal in the books is not really the best person, I do enjoy the Mal in the TV show a lot more. And then we find out how the Darkling isn't really dead because he's not easily killed as, as our main characters believe. And this is where we get more of the Darkling's power. Somehow him spending some time in the fold has increased his power and I'm really excited going forward. Okay, and that was the last scene of season one of Shadow and Bone. I really, really, really liked watching back this season. It was really nice to see everything come together again. And this time I actually paid more attention instead of just rushing through everything. I really liked the changes that the TV show did with the books and also incorporating the Six of Crows books as well. So we get a uh, first introduction to them earlier than what we had in the books. Although the show might have been a little bit confusing for non-readers, but I think it was, but I do think it was really nice to see the interpretation that the TV show had. And we do get all of our beloved characters on screen which is something that we don't really get sometimes. So one year later does the show still uphold to its name? I'll say yes it does. So hopefully we get season 2 coming up early next year. I really don't think it'll be coming out in 2022 but it most likely will be releasing in 2023. So let's just look forward to that. So I'm just going to conclude this video off by saying thank you so much for watching and staying for this little video series that I have been uploading the past week or so. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see you all soon.